Hello, my name is Christopher, and today I'm going to show you how to install one dev on Dockage. So, a little bit about this series. I'm going over home lab, sure installing things, getting things set up, everything like that. So, if you're interested in that, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel. And let's get started. I wanted to let y'all know about the Big Bear community. We just launched a uh, community on community.bigbeartechworld.com. It's based on Discourse. So, go on there, join it, and uh, say hi. So, Let's get back to your registered programming. So this is what would be installed today on one dev. It's a Git server uh, with CI, CD, and Kanban and packages. It's ultra easy to set up and maintain. Uh, this is for developing software. Uh, it's kind of like your own Git, uh, GitHub or GitLab. Um, so. It has out of the box search and navigation, um, code search with regular expressions, source diff, and then a customizable issue state field, and then a service desk, and then a powerful intuitive query language, a fully fledged CI slash CD engine without writing YAML, and then a built in Docker NPM Maven NuGet. PyPy, Ruby, uh, GM's uh, re registry. Uh, that's nice. So you can just uh, host your own uh, Docker cont container images. And a flexible pull request review, a lightweight review without pull request, and a command palette to access features quickly. A write markdown pleasantly with a smart editor. And you can see trends by language. And they do have Enterprise Edition features, but we will be installing the uh, the Community Edition. So if I scroll all the way up and I go to the website, it's uh, the one a DevOps platform. Um, so this is what it looks like too. And um, if you want to just go back to the features, you can, and th those are on Git uh, GitHub. So. That's a little bit about one dev and what we'll be installing today on Dockage. So now I'm gonna start on Big Bear Video Assets. There will be a link down in the YouTube description to get to this. I'm gonna go to search and I'm going to type in one dev. And then now I'm gonna go to the Dockage right here. So how to install one dev on Dockage. And then I'm gonna go to the Docker Compose. So version 3.7 of Docker Compose file formats being used. I'm going to set some services, and then the first service underneath the services is called Big Bear One Dev. The image is coming off of Docker Hub by default because there's no year before this. And this is the Docker image. This is the Docker image tag. And then the container name is going to be called Big Bear One Dev. This makes it to where Docker doesn't have to generate a random name. And the environment variables down here. So it is using the Hibernate uh, library to connect to the DB. Uh, the DB. So, um, and then the initial user that's created, so you can log in, and the initial server URL uh, will replace the uh, uh, local host with Dockage, with your Dockage uh, LEN IP. And then restart unless stop. So that means if you stop it for any reason, it will not try to restart, but if it fails any other reason, then it will try to restart. And then volumes, so Big Bear One Dev Data, that's a local volume that's defined down the bottom. This is on the host side. And then on the container side is opt one dev. Do not change the container side. Var run docker.sock. This gives it access to the Docker engine. And same thing on the container. So ports are 6610. That's on the host side. If this does collide with another port on your host, you can change it. And then on the container side is 6610. Do not change the container side. And then 6611 is on the host and 6611 is on the container. And this does depend on Big Bear One Dev DB service down here. And the networks, I'm gonna put it in its own network. So Big Bear One Dev network. And that is defined down here and it's a bridge network. Okay, now I'm going to go into the service of the DB. So Big Bear One Dev D DB, that's the service name, and then the container name is going to be uh, be called Big Bear One Dev DB. This is so uh, the Docker doesn't have to generate a random name for this container. And then the image is coming off of Docker Hub by default. 
and then uh, the Docker image, the Docker image tag. Restart unless stop. So that means if you stop it for any reason, it will not try to restart. But if it fails any other reason, then it will try to restart. And then the environment variables. So we're, we're going to set up the Postgres user, which is Big Bear, the Postgres password, which is a, UI, U, a UUID4, and then a Postgres DB, which is the a database name. It's one dev. So now if you go up here to the Hibernate uh, up here, so the Big Bear one dev DB is the service name. And then um, right here, and then the port, a one, one, one dev right here is the da a database name, which rhymes with the Postgres DB down here. Then the connection, a u username, it rhymes with the Postgres u a user. The connection password right here rhymes with the Postgres password. So now this uh, service up here is going to connect to this service and store all the data in the database down here. So uh, defining the network and defining the volumes down here. So I'm going to go over here to copy raw file. I'm going to click it. Then I'm going to go to my dockage and get this set up installed. So I wanted to let you know uh, about the Big Bear Club. Uh, 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 you can join it and it greatly supports this channel and I very much appreciate it. So uh, if you'd like to join the Big Bear Club, you can go down in the YouTube description and uh, go to my Ko-Fi link and join it from there. So let's get back to registered programming. So now I'm going to start on my dockage. I'm going to go to compose and then stack name is going to be one dev stack. And then now I'm going to come over to the editor. I'm going to paste in the Docker and post I explained over in Big Bear Video Assets. And then once that's done, I'm going to say deploy up here. What this is doing is it's downloading the Docker image off the registries, getting them extracted, getting them up with Docker and post underneath because this does use the Docker engine. It's also setting up the volumes and the network. So uh, this can take a little bit of time to complete. So we got it up and running, and it's good to go. So now we're going to need to update the server URL. So I'm going to go in the stack and then edit. And then I'm going to scroll down to the initial ser server URL right here. I'm going to paste in my dockage LEN IP that uh, we, we get to by going in the browser. So in here. So now, now once you do that, you're going to deploy the changes. So it's going to have to recreate the containers. So now it should be changed. Uh, there we go. So now I'm going to go over the dockage UI. So on the home screen, you'll see statuses of your stack. So active, exit, and inactive. And when you have more stacks, you can see those. So I'm going to go into the stack. And um, you can see actions up here. So you can edit the stack. And you can edit the Docker and pose over here. And then you can say deploy the changes, save the changes, stop it inactive, and then discard the changes. You can also add a service underneath the services by typing in there and then pre press an add container. And then now you can see it right here. And it's underneath the services. So now you can go in here and you can add an image to this. And then uh, there we go. And then it's added the image. So um, you can add URLs, you can uh, add environment variables, uh, networks, internal and external. So um, I'm going to discard the changes. So, so you can restart the stack, you can update the current tags on the stack, and then stop, stop it inactive, and then delete the stack. You can also see the containers in the stack, so you can go here and you can go to the UI. You can also go into the container in Bash. There we go. You can switch to SH as well. There we go. Um, so you can see logs down here. It's great for debugging. You can see a read-only version of the Docker and Pose over here. So that's a little bit about the Docker UI. So now I'm going to go in the UI and see if it works. So um, if you go over here to your, your read-only Docker and Pose, you, you'll see the initial user. So um, the initial uh user is um, a big bear and then the initial password is password the, the initial email is admin at example.com so you will need to uh, know, know those to get into the UI so I'm going to go in the UI
so now we got the login up so i'm going to type in admin at example.com and then password is password and then now once you do that you're going to sign in so now we're in it so over in the sidebar you have projects pull request issues builds packages and then administration which is a lot of options um you can also go up here to top right and go to your profile email addresses edit avatar cha change password sh keys a gpg keys access key, uh, tokens and sign out i would recommend you changing your password and then you can also change your login name and your full name you can also uh, add email addresses and change your primary um now if you go into projects and you go to the plus button and you uh, add a project someone said a testing project now you can turn on code management issue management or package management and then i'm going to create So now we don't have any co code yet in this project, but um, you can see it's in projects, testing, and then files. So now you can see all the co commits, the branches, the tags, the code co comments, and the code compare. So um, you can also see issues down here. So issues, lists, boards, and milestones. So you can go into the, here and you can see the issues and you can also see a board so you can go up here and you can add a issue and want to test issue so now i'm going to save and now you can move this to closed or, or you can move it to open so and then now you can co I come down to the builds and um, you can go to the other uh, packages and then npm maven a new get pipi and then ruby gems you can also see statistics and then the source lines so that's a little bit about one dev and what the ui looks like I just went over step by step on getting one dev working on dockage. So if you like this tutorial, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel. And if you have any video suggestions or any community support, you can go out in the Big Bear community and join our forum. There's a link in the YouTube description. So stay tuned for more.